Alan, not the result we wanted, obviously, tonight. No, it's, it's not good enough. It wasn't through like a commitment from the lads who worked their socks off, but I just think you look at them, they look they look quite broken and fragile at the minute. And There's moments in the games here we created enough chances in that first half to go 1-0, 2-0 up, and then all of a sudden you find yourself 1-0 down. And it, Same old story here, we're... We miss a chance, and then all of a sudden we concede a goal from across. And it's basics again. It's just dealing with them basics. But you can't be that poor in both boxes and expect to win a game of football. And we created enough chances in that first half, and then the second one, he's got a score. It's on the line. He's got to put it in, and then them clear it and break away and score. It, unfortunately, them are moments that's gone against us at this moment in time, and this is what happens when you're on a bad one. When you're on the good run, they're gone for you. On the bad run, they don't. And unfortunately, that's where we are at this moment in time. Yeah, we well, yeah, we got off to a really good start. We had a couple of chances, didn't we? And then it was just a sloppy goal. We can't see. There's so much space for their lad to run into. It, and I think the lads who played the passes missed kicked the pass as well. Mm. <laughs> and again, when things gone against you, they go against you. And Nathan switched off for the first one. He hasn't pressed when he should have pressed. And they've just played the hopeful ball down the line. And Unfortunately, no one's picked the, the lad up in the middle, even though we've got three setting horses in there, they haven't picked the setting forward up who's headed it and then they followed it in. Tommy made a great save as well, so it's it's just so frustrating because they knew what was at stake, but they just seem to have lost that mojo that they had at the start of the but for the 25, 30 games that we've done it. There seems to be a... We're going to have to have a big discussion at the end of the season regarding it of why... There's reasons and other mm. reasons, um, and I'll speak to the players about it. Speak to the board about it. We know, we know, but the lads have they probably let themselves down a little bit. But they've get, they've worked hard, but there's just not enough quality there at this moment in time, and that's down to fear. Mm. And I'm watching them; they're playing with a mass of fear. Where twenty first twenty five games, there's no fear. Mm. We were playing with that freedom, that that desire, that hunger, just to get on the ball and play. Watching the lads now, there's a real fear factor in there, and they're, they're scared of making mistakes, unfortunately. Yeah, I was just going to say that they seem to be struggling with the pressure, whereas just talking to somebody outside there, we, we compared this with Scarborough mm. away, 6 2. Everybody really motivated, played some great football that day. Could have won by more that day, but tonight it's just a little bit flat. Uh, Very. Uh, it, like I, I said, I picked the team today try and get as many as the lads on that pitch that played down at Curzon mm. to show them that it's a, virtually the same team, the same set of lads that performed ever so well in that game. I think there was only two different, I think it was Coops and Nathan. But then the, you can see the difference in that performance and that performance. And it's, it's not through effort, because there was plenty of effort in there, believe me, there was plenty of effort. It was just through the the fear of not wanting to get on the ball, not wanting to make that mistake, not wanting to be the one who's the ball lands to in the box in case they make a mistake, in case they misheaded it or misfinish it. And I say there's so much going through the heads of the you can see it. I can see it. And it's it's a shame because they were fantastic mm. up until I'd say just before Christmas. And we we never helped them. We I never managed to bring a player in that I thought would have kicked us on unfortunately and then you lose your three players and you've got to think what the players feel like then after that you lose Joe Leasley, Dodgy then Becky and Jack's out for two months so it's the the players I know they've got to stand up and carry on but it does affect them unfortunately I've been there it does affect you when you lose your best players and you can't replace them because you haven't one you haven't got the funds two they're not available if you have got the (laughs) funds and three, some don't want to come, unfortunately. That's that's the bottom line and because of what we can only offer. It, and that's where we are. And listen, I come into this knowing that what the club was like, that this is what we are. And we might lose players every season. But this is this one hurts the most because mm. we've done I've I've lost them every January and that bugs me, believe me, it really does. And there's not a lot you can do about it because you can't replace them in January. You can't replace the quality that you lose for the same quality without shed loads of money, mm. unfortunately. And then 
this one's the one that probably is gonna have a massive effect because of how well we were doing and what we had. The whole team was a was a fantastic team, but again, it got ripped to shreds and confidence gets affected. And it's down to me to pick them up. It really is, and listen, I take responsibility for that. But it it's a tough job, believe me, trying to get the lads mm. up after what them, it, it must be tough for them. And the fans have been fantastic through the season. And they've just got to get. They've been getting behind the lads, and they have. Obviously, we get that feel that morning. They're entitled to the morning. I understand that, but there's no one as frustrated as what I am, what the staff is, what everyone is. The board is. But unfortunately, that's what we are as a football club. We and I signed up to it. Mm. The fans know that. But this one hurts. This one mm. does really hurt because of the the position we were in. We could have really kicked on. Unfortunately, we never had the funds to kick on, and that's the bottom line. Yeah. Two games left, one at home against Kings Lynn. They're going for automatic promotion. Is that a free hit for us then? I've just told the lads to go and try and play without that fear, mm. without the fear, without the negativity, without anything on the shoulders. Because I've just sitting and talking to them in the changing room there, and it looks as though there's someone on your shoulder, constant chirping in your ear, like you, you see. And, we're lumping balls. We've got three in midfield. I played the players I did today to get us on the ball, but the back lads haven't got the trust in the midfield lads anymore. The midfield lads aren't moving enough to get on the ball at times, so we end up lumping it and playing, chasing the ball, and that, that's not what we're about. We haven't got the players to do that, and we've done that for the last few games, which is why I changed it and played the three in the middle of the park, but I still want to play two up top, because if we go to a 4-3-3, three, three, then it looks... He is, gets isolated, or whoever's playing through the middle gets isolated. So we want to have a real good go. And I, as I say, I thought it started really bright and really lively, but the, the missing the chances takes it, it takes it out of you. And then the, the way the goals conceded, it just they knocked the wind out of the lads, unfortunately. And they need to do better. They need to pick things up. We know that I need to do better, but that's where we are at this moment in time.